In this video, you will learn how to install Miniconda, create an environment for the tutorials, and use JupyterLab and the Python console from QGIS. First, download the installer for Miniconda from this website. The link will be provided in the description of this video. Run the installer. Keep all the defaults and click install. After installation, uncheck these boxes and click finish. Then in the start menu, you can find the Anaconda prompt Miniconda 3. The 3 refers to Python 3. Now we need to create an environment with all the Python packages that we want to use for the tutorials. We use the command conda create dash dash name, then the name of the environment, then dash c, which means the channel where the packages need to be downloaded from, that's conda forge, and then the name of the packages. We need PC raster, we need QGIS, we need a specific Python version, so therefore we specify Python equals 3.9, so it will use Python 3.9 instead of 3.10 if we don't define anything. That's because QGIS at this moment needs version 3.9. We also need matplotlib, JupyterLab, PyCRS, NumPy, although it probably also comes with the other packages, and uh, Git to download uh, the repository with the tutorials. Then you hit enter to install. The Python packages will now be fetched from the Conda Forge repository. It will also take care that uh, the dependencies are met and uh, that everything that you want will work well together. So you don't have to worry about that normally. I did a fast forward because this normally takes some time. And after installing the environment, we can activate it by typing conda activate and then tutorials, that's the name of the environment. In brackets before the prompt you see now tutorials instead of the base environment. I move to the Z drive where I want to clone the uh, repository, which basically means that I'm going to copy uh, from GitHub the re repository of the PC Raster tutorials that I want to use in this course. Now it has uh, downloaded uh, the files from the repository and I can uh, find them here. These tutorials are in Jupyter Notebooks, and uh, the best way to run them is to type JupyterLab and this will uh, launch Jupyter from your browser. And uh, it will normally start with the launcher and you can choose to launch a new notebook, Python console, let's do that. And here we can type uh, Python commands, it uses IPython. For example, print hello world. And with shift enter, I can execute the command. And the result will be printed here on the screen. With the plus, I can uh, add another launcher. Let's add a terminal. In this case, it's the Windows PowerShell. And here you can use the uh, command line interface to navigate your operating system. I can also create a Python file. So here I can type a script, so multiple lines of code that can then be uh, executed and saved as a .py file. So let's make a simple script as a demonstration. a equals 1, b equals 7, and c is a plus b. And we do print c. I can save this file. I can uh, give it a name. If I remove everything here, it will go to the root of uh, where we started um, JupyterLab. And I can click right and create a console for the editor so we can also run the code. You can choose which kind of console you want. And we want a Python 3 console. And then I can run this code by selecting um, the code and do Shift Enter. And then it will run in the console below. As you see, it gives the result. Or we can also use the run menu to run all code, or we can uh, run selections. Mm -hmm. 
Now I can also uh, run a Jupyter Notebook by just going to the folder and here I go to the contents page of uh, the Map Algebra tutorial. So let's remove what we don't need. And uh, you can uh, drag these tabs to a place where you want it. So if I want an, one screen, uh, the Jupyter Notebook and uh, the uh, Windows PowerShell and the Python console, then I can uh, do that in this way. And this is very useful to have everything from the browser on one screen. So we can follow the tutorial. I can navigate my uh, operating system using the uh, terminal. And I can also run parts of the code in the Python console. To run code in the Jupyter Notebook, you do Shift Enter. To close the Jupyter Lab server, you simply go to File, Shut Down, and then it stops the server. It normally would save uh, the state where you were, so next time you launch it, you'll have the same uh, tabs open. Alternatively, we can also use the Python console from QGIS because we have installed QGIS in this uh, environment. So type QGIS to run the QGIS version that you have here in Conda. This is version 3.18 because newer versions are not supported yet because some uh, dependencies have not been solved. After starting QGIS, you can click the button with the Python icon to run the Python console. And there you can uh, have a Python prompt where you can type Python code and run it there. You can also write scripts. You can write lines, like uh, print hello world, and just do enter to run it. And you can run scripts that you can write here in the editor. So you can write a script of a few lines here to demonstrate this. And save the script. And then we can run it and the result will be displayed in the console.